Today, like so many, I got the question during a coaching call, how do I generate better work-life balance? There are so many books and tapes and videos about so many different aspects of resilience and time management and running better meetings and being able to be more agile, et cetera, et cetera. But what I told this person, which I would tell you, is start with the end in mind. And what that means is what do you really want in your professional life and your personal life? What is your vision? What is your North Star? And start to really paint a picture of what your ideal day, week, month, year feels and looks like. And once you start to define that, you begin to also realize what you don't want, what you're not willing to put up with, what you do want to align yourself with. But create that northern star perspective about what you really want in your life. And then from there, work your way backwards. What kinds of things align with that northern star, that perspective about what you really want? Are there certain aspects of your career that align with it? Are there certain aspects that don't? What you should say no to, what you should say yes to. And that also goes into your personal life. How many vacations do you wanna have? What do you wanna have with your kids, your family, your partner, your wife, your husband, etc.? But create that picture first and then figure out how does your life now align or not align to that northern star. And then two, the another thing I think is so important is to schedule time for being more proactive. Once a week, one hour a week, maybe it's Friday between eight and nine, but make it de de devoted just to you and your planning of your life and your development and what's coming up over the next six months. They say, if it's not scheduled, it's not a commitment. So when it comes to work-life balance, determine what you want and then schedule time to make it happen.